Today I will be showing you the WooCommerce variation swatches, how to create a professional and good looking WooCommerce variable product with variation swatches. So this is what we will be learning how to create. So this will be the final result. But before that let me show you how this will be available by default. In default WooCommerce, if we create a variable product with variations it will be shown like this like drop down and this design is very old fashioned and very tedious that's why we will be creating a variable product with a variation swatches we will uh, that will look like this and this is very professional and good looking so before uh, going to the main tutorial or main video let me show you let me give you brief example or shortly example shortly explanation on what is variable product is in WooCommerce we by default we are able to create multiple products like simple product group product external product or affiliate product and variable product variable product is the product that is available with the different kind of variations so let's go to the main tutorial so i will be using this site and over over the plugins add new search for the woocommerce woocommerce variation searches we will be using this plugin this plugin has a large number of active installation and a decent number of five star rating and this is a very popular one and it's a very feature rich plugin so we'll just install this plugin within a few minutes we will be able to activate this plugin just activate And after activating this plugin, we will get this menu, get O plugins for the settings of the swatches. But for this tutorial or this video, or in order to create a variation swatches like this, we don't need to change any settings here. So we are good to go to the main settings. And one thing I would like to mention: uh, to you will not to will don't need to pay anything or you need to don't need to buy any plugin at all so first of all we need to go to products attributes so let me just create an attribute called color and we will select the type color and if you would like to enable these variations we on the archive pages we will enable this one just add attribute so attribute is being created so now we'll click on this attribute and we will add the color names for example red select the color red yellow select the color yellow and black And we can create as many as we want but as this video is for the demonstration purpose I will be creating this three and this color will be available here so now I will create another attribute called sizes and enable the archive select the, I will be selecting the button so add this attribute now I will click these sizes and add some sizes like large medium and short so now I have added the attributes for the sizes as well so now I will I will be adding a product and product add new I will be like Unix T 
t-shirt and I will product data variable block product okay got it and just for the just to avoid any kind of inconvenience that the feature is not loaded I will be just publish the product first and then I will add these attributes so as I have already created the attributes if we do not create attributes from here we can create the attributes from here as well by clicking add new but as we have already created the attributes we will be adding from here for example color we can select from this one for example black or we can click select all now save the attributes now I will be adding sizes as well sizes and just like the color we can select one or we can select all by clicking this one so save the attributes now the attributes has been added now we need to create the variations we will create the variations now we can add manually for individual variations or we can generate the variation that attributes we have created already so for the for this tutorial I will be generating variations this will create a new variation for each and every possible combination of variation attributes maximum for per run so okay so all the variation has been added now I will be editing individual attributes for example this one black and large as the video is for the demonstration purpose I will be just adding this one and the regular price will be 12 sales price will be 11 okay for the black medium I will be selecting this one regular price will be 14 sales price will be 12 for black short I will be selecting this one so that I can show you that image changes that's why I am selecting this kind of images for this one it will be 17 it will be for 13 for the red one red large so red is not available so I will be selecting this one so 21 20 red medium so let's select this one 22 20 okay red short I'll be selecting this image for 1 31 30 and now is for the yellow this one for the $40 $30 for the yellow medium let's select this image $50 $14 so yellow short let's select this one regular price will be 13 11 so all the variations and images has been set now we will select the product image this one this one okay I selected this one now we can product gallery so okay we have selected we can create categories t-shirt okay now update the product so now if we view this product see our variation has been created with the variation swatches for example if I click the black red yellow large medium short and this is how the image image are being changes this is how easy it is to create the variation swatches with the OCommerce variation swatches plugin all right guys so with this we have completed this video this was a very short but yet it is important because this makes your website really beautiful and professional looking i hope you guys find this video helpful if you guys find this video helpful please 
do like this comment and share this video with your friends via facebook or twitter and if you guys have any doubts comments and suggestion you can leave this on the comment section below thanks a lot for watching this see you on the next video